Good morning and welcome to the video for third grade for Thursday, April the 23rd. Uh, this is going to be the homework video for our lesson working with mass. And so uh, to start with, uh, we'll go ahead and uh, do some comparisons, whether our picture would be closer to being a gram or a kilogram as an estimate. So a person, we would definitely do uh, the measurement for mass in kilograms. Number four, so I mentioned in the lesson video for this, uh, for instance, that this is very obvious. This looks like it, like this side could be a little bit more, um, and like these two look like they could be equal. This one's much more obvious that the mass of the candle is going to be greater than the mass of the light bulb. And so that side of the scale is heavier or has more material, and so um, it's, lower than the side that is lighter or has a lower mass. Uh, number six, a red ball has a mass of less than one kilogram. A blue ball has a mass of one kilogram. Is the mass of the blue ball more or less than the mass of the red ball? So if we have less than a kilogram and then we have exactly a kilogram, the blue is going to be greater than the mass for red. Name an object in your home that has a mass of about one kilogram. So those of you in third grade, if you have your vocab book at home, um, which I believe everyone should, that is a smaller book that would have about the mass of one kilogram um, or maybe two or three, but that would be an option um, that you could use. If you have, um, I don't have one that has batteries in it, so that doesn't help. But if you have a, a remote control, um, those would be closer to being a kilogram as well, especially with the batteries inside. Uh, number one on the back, what unit of measurement would you use to measure the mass of a grape? So a grape being a little tiny round uh, piece of fruit. Um, so we're not talking about the entire bunch. We are talking about a singular grape. A bunch of grapes would probably be closer uh, to kilograms. Um, and then a single grape would be closer to one gram. Number two, Elsie wants to find the mass of her pony. Um, so a small horse, even a toy one, we would want to use kilograms for that. So those are the homework questions. If you have any questions, uh, please feel free to ask in Google Classroom. Um, there were only uh, five of them for today, so hopefully that makes sense for you. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask. Hope you have a wonderful day. I will be back with a new video on Friday that I will be recording probably on Thursday uh, now that I will be back by the time uh, that you see this video from having to do a bunch of errands over the, the few days that I uh, was pre-recording for. So hope your week is going well. Um, I will be talking to you all online um, throughout the week and I will still be doing my office hours. So uh, hopefully you had a chance to stop and have a wonderful day and I will see you tomorrow.